Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. Yesterday we just didn't film because we were, I was trying to get back on target with the kids, particularly after yeah, Thanksgiving and all of that. And I really wanted to have a good start to the week with homeschooling. So I just took yesterday off from, don't pick your nose. She's got blueberries on her face from breakfast. So anyways, we worked on school again this morning and Pete, we're almost done. We're not quite done yet, but the kids are taking a little bit of a break. Charity made some cookies with Mary and Grace, and mommy has been coloring. Should we show them what you're coloring? Yeah. What color is this? Orange. It's orange. Uh. So that's been her color lately, is orange. Now what's this guy right here? Uh. What is this? Yeah. What is this guy? Snowman. It's a snowman. One, two, three. Four. Four. There are four Christmas trees. How many snowmen are there? One. One. And how many skis are there? Three. Not quite three. Let's count again. Ready? One, two. Good job. Go. Okay, let's finish. Oh, there's some fresh cookies. Are they cool enough to yes. eat? Yes. Yeah? Take one. Say thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. That's it, Is this one of mine? Yes. All right, let's. They're a little hot still. Let's see how they came out. Oh, white. White, Mom. Oh, the white stuff is sugar. What is hmm. it? They're very Sick. good. Trudy made them. Yes, they are not low carb, trim, healthy, if Mama approved. But Dad, they're yummy. Cookie. You like a cookie? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Even though we attempt to be daily vloggers as consistent cookie. as possible. Cookie. The fact is our priorities are still our family is first and sometimes it's just not the best time to be putting my attention into filming and um, just having my attention away from the kids because there is a factor that I'm talking to a camera instead of um, working with the kids. And so some days we just... Um, Daddy is at work. He's working on his few instruments. So all that being said is sometimes we just realize show that my cookie. our kids show my cookie. You want me to show them your cookie? Please show me. Yay. Here is Grace's cookie. There's not much left. That looks pretty yummy, doesn't it? Mary and Charity did a really good job cooking it, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Nice special treat. Um, we try to always be aware of the dynamics within our household and at times the best thing to do is to pretty much say no to everything and just drop everything and focus on the family again, whether it be um, the kids not, you know, obeying correctly or as quickly as they should be or if it's, um, it's just, you know, your priorities have gotten a little mixed up. Um, we do at times just stop everything. And so that's pretty much what we did this past weekend. We just kind of stopped. We um, reset, and I think we're going to go back, back into the swing of things now, right, Grace? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the process of boiling down some turkey bones to make some turkey soup. And you like turkey soup, right, Grace? Hot. All right. How does that look? Good. That looks really good. It'll take a long time to boil those bones out. They'll be good when we make turkey soup. Yum, 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 yum. It won't be done in time for lunch. It's 11, almost 11.30 now. And it just, it won't be done. But I figured I'd at least start the process. And there's so much turkey because I cooked two turkeys. I, um, it took an extra large pot to shove these birds in there. And as you saw, they don't quite fit completely. So I keep trying to push them down as the cartilage and the stuff breaks down, trying to soak them down into the pan so they can all cook. For lunch today, we made a fresh salad, some apples, some leftover rolls and sourdough bread. And then this is just like turkey stroganoff. Hi. Bye, love my darling. She just said hi to you. My baby loves me, but goodbye. Are you ready to go nae nae? Huh? She's having been having some troubles with sleeping at night. And last night she was up until 2 a.m. and then she got back up at 5 a.m. So see, it's been a little, little rough trying to get any sleep these days. 
right? So it's one o'clock. We're gonna we're trying to get her back onto a more consistent schedule and hopefully get her rested so she sleeps better at night. That's at least our hope. We're on our way to pick up a donation for some of the blessing bags, and we are in the last two days of that challenge. Uh, actually, it's not a challenge. It was my goal was to um, have enough bags for the home where Auntie and Grandma were. In this case, this lady is actually donating a handmade lap blanket instead of ten dollars to the bag, which is ever so appreciated because you know handmade stuff is always gorgeous and very appreciated by the residents. And between the 57-ish bags that I have been able to get sponsored and some other team members were pretty much filled up for the one nursing home that I was aiming to fill up. Any extras will be just going to other local nursing homes and so far the last count that I heard is we're at, at or we're over 600 is right here. We're at we're over 600 bags, I think it's 650 bags we've filled, and we're still filling more for more nursing homes. So I'm pretty excited with the turnout that we've had and looking forward to seeing the smiles on the residents' faces. Good morning, it's Wednesday morning. It's actually almost lunchtime. Um, the kids and I have been doing school this morning, and Miss Grace over there is doing her ABC mouse with her alphabet letters and I really like how this has taught her so much about her letters and sounds and things like that. When ABC Mouse contacted us a year, almost a year ago, um, I never dreamed that my kids would actually like this so much, but it's been really, really handy. And I've been debating whether or not I want to renew it, um, but I probably will because that's how much we use it with the kids and I really think it's taught the little girls a lot of their things. It's kept them busy while I've been teaching Peter and Lydia school. Um, so I know Black Friday they had it 63% off. I'm not sure if they still are running that promotion, um, but I'm guessing they'll be having promotions right through December. And if you guys are looking for a clutter free gift, I will highly recommend this one because it's been the best thing for the kids. Oh, you need it turned over. All right, let me kick it. Hit the, I love my wireless mouse. All right, here we go. We'll go on. What letter are we up to? You're getting lots of tickets from yes. Mary. We actually need to set you up with your own account, Grace. We're up to letter G. <laughs> if you've watched our vlogs this week, you know that I've been focusing a lot on just doing some schoolwork because that's how our school tends to go. We have a couple weeks where we do a lot of schooling and then life happens and we back off for a few weeks and then we jump back into it. And the kids seem to learn really well with that. Just um, It's almost like it's giving them their brains time to process what they've learned. So Pete, Pete has been doing really, really well with his schoolwork. Last night when I was at the emergency squad, I was putting together some freezer meal plans because December is gonna be a really, really crazy month for us just with everything going on with the holidays and so many birthdays, Christmas parties, everything else. Um, and particularly with me on this school kick, I don't take a whole lot of time to pre -peer, prepare a lot of meals. You ready for the next one? Um, to do a lot with the meal prep when I'm in the school mode. I'm making dinner, that's right. Okay, here's your next letter. Do you, I get lots of tickets. You are getting lots of tickets. Um, so I think for the month of December, it would probably be a wise idea for me to do um, maybe a half dozen, dozen freezer meals just to have some food on hand. Because you guys know that I do, I love to cook. And when I am in the mood to cook, um, I don't want to be tied down by a schedule or um, anything like that. But on the other hand, if I'm not in the mood to cook, I really like to have that convenience of having something on hand. So that's what I was working on last night, some menu plans. Um, haven't been to the grocery store in about 10-ish days. Uh, we're just running out of the fresh stuff. Um, that's the biggest thing because I don't keep the canned and frozen food 
um, vegetables and things like that. I usually just have to go once a week to pick up the fresh stuff. Have lots of stuff in the freezer in the pantry, just not the fresh stuff. Now we're going to the post office. Janelle has a whole bunch of 31 stuff to send out. And then Charity sold two things on Etsy yesterday. We're at the library and they called Art and asked him if he would be willing to, um, I wouldn't say donate, but uh, lend. lend some uh, instruments. Instru musical instruments for one of the Christmas trees that they're decorating at the town hall, right? Yes. And I have a backpack full of instruments. This is <laughs> exciting. It is. It's very exciting. Have, what do you have, Art? Cornet. These are ones that I... Oops, I'll get that. Did was, that happen in your backpack? Well, it happened over the course of time. Children will touch them. It also happened. That's why it's so broken. Bugle. <gasps> I mean, that looks like Christmas. Yes, I know. I thought, I thought that, that really looks that like really Christmas. That really does. Yeah. A clarinet. Clarinet. And a tiny little piccolo. Aww. Isn't that cute? We got the new Ticket to Ride for Europe. Oh, the kids are going to be so excited. I'll keep them busy for a couple days. Guess what we got? Ticket to Ride Europe! Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Whoa, it's heavy. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Oh. She had to put in two game boards and a gazillion pieces. And she... <laughs> <laughs> and Look at these cards! Don't take it apart in the car, though. The camera got forgotten in the Beast Bus, so I didn't film any... Can I didn't film anything this afternoon. Nothing all that exciting happened. Yes, there's a lot of noise. We just got a... The shipment from 31 and the emergency squad, so the kids are bringing that in for me. What's up? Oh, 31, that's the best, isn't it? Woo, Peter, you're like Santa. <laughs> I spent the afternoon deboning the turkey bones, which you can see right there. Whole pile of them. That took a long time. And turkeys are one of those things that it just takes forever. It's not really a fun task, but on the good news, it's a great way to stretch your budget. So let me turn the camera around here. I made this really big pot of turkey soup, so we're having that for dinner. And then we have some fresh drop biscuits. And then Art over here is working on making a salad. Yeah, well, I'm working on the... Um, well, those aren't salads, those are peppers. I'm working on the peppers from our garden. We still have peppers and it's almost December. That's amazing. So we have to take care of them pretty soon or else they'll go bad. And the older kids are so excited because they got the ticket to ride at the library. We got two boards for three of them. Wow. And this is a lot bigger and they said it's a lot harder. It is. A lot more complicated, a lot more cards. You know what you have to do? You have to build trains and you have to buy spots. Wow. So really good. They've been working on that all afternoon. And little people took good naps. And hi, Lillian. Are you ready to eat your dinner? Yeah, I am. I'm very hungry. Yes, it is really after midnight. I camped out on my bed tonight and I've been working on my grocery shopping list, camped out with my flyers and everything like that. And I told you guys earlier that I really needed to go to the store and I wanted to do some freezer meals. So that's what I've been working on for the last mm, two hours, trying to figure out what's the best deal and where I should go and just doing the weekly sales too. Like this week at at, this week at Aldi's they have the split chicken breast for 99 cents a pound so I want to take advantage of that and then our local Hannaford had pork chops on sale for 99 cents a pound so I was just planning some of those freezer meals around those items and I think I think we should be good um, I have three freezer meals of pork chops, three different chicken meals, and then five of Jay Morrell's taco bake. If you've watched Jay Morrell's channel, you know that she made that in her freezer meal video that she did before she had her last baby. So I'm going to give that a shot because it was, seemed like it was really easy and my kids love Mexican type food. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you for our next video. Good night.